at Dynamo Fencing Club in Richmond. And Jody and Riaz, this weekend is the Vancouver Grand Prix of Men's Epe. So I'm going to get suited up for a little fencing coming up next. What I believe is to be a different kind of fencing that I think that we've seen probably in the movies. Uh, good morning, Igor. We are here at Dynamo Fencing Club and we're getting ready for the Grand Prix, the men's Grand Prix. And uh, we're talking about fencing. So there are three kinds, right? Yeah, fencing is actually one of the founding sports in the modern Olympics since 1896. The Grand Prix will be an epi event, which is a whole body target area and striking only. The foil is a non-slashing sword, just the torso. And the uh, saber is a slashing sword and everywhere above the waist. Okay, so we're going to focus on epi, but before we do that, we need to get suited up so let's let's get going on let's it. do it so, so what do we have here so this is called a fencing jacket okay. you put your right foot through that loop the other right foot yeah <laughs> and then you put your right hand in and then left hand out okay and then we just zip it up and this jacket is uh, full protection and uh, if anything happens, nothing will go through you. Okay, and that's good to know, that's good to know. Typically we'd wear pants, we're not worrying about that for me today, right? Yes, of course. And let's talk about, now do we call these, I know it's called an epee, but do a lot of people call them swords? They're not swords, obviously. Well, we name, so as you can see, there's two different kinds right here, a foil and an epee. The epi, this is called a pistol grip, and this is the one where the Grand Prix will be, and it's the whole body. Okay, and the Grand Prix is actually, what, I guess it's the only North American event of this kind, is it not? Yes, it is. It's uh, one of only three events in the entire world for EPE, and uh, we were very fortunate enough to get this event here. Excellent. It's happening at the Olympic Oval, happening on the weekend. Jody and Riaz, people can go and watch. It will be quite the sight to see. For more details, go to their website. And I'm going to get a little Fencing 101 coming up throughout the morning. Hey, thanks very much. As we're getting ready for the Grand Prix of Men's FA, we thought we'd get a little fencing lesson. So let's go with the basics. First of all, someone like me, I can learn this no problem. Oh, yeah. Two minutes and you're a trained fencer Perfect. now. Perfect. Let's see if we can do it in a minute 30. Thanks. All right. So <laughs> imagine you're going down the ski hill. Okay. Put your right foot forward. Good. Left foot, 90 degree angle. Okay. And this is your initial position called the salute. Okay. Now you bring your right foot about shoulder width apart forward. Bend your knees. It's a good leg workout. Put your right hand in front of you and your back hand behind you. Okay. And this is your classical on guard position. This is how all the fencers move. Okay. If you want to do a step forward, you go with your front foot first. And if you want to do a step back, you go with your back foot first. If you want to do a lunge like a warrior position in yoga, you'd extend your arm first and then you just open up and your backhand open <laughs> and that's a strike and you just got a point. Excellent. And you're on guard. Perfect. All right. Now we also have the proper salute, right? Yeah. So that's, fencing is a very gentleman sport and we have, we're steeped with a lot of tradition and this is one of the parts that we've kept and when we, when we're, just before we would fence, we have to put our feet together, raise your epics up. Point down, and then you salute your opponent. And how come we're not wearing our mask at that point? Well, that's to expose your eyes to your opponent. And once we have saluted, then we have to put our masks on just for safety, and then we would fence. And now we've got obviously a, a number of uh, students that are fencing right now. Girls and boys, no problem? Yeah, this is open to all ages and all genders, and uh, it's, uh, kids can start from as young as three and a half now. Which is great to know, because Tammy Moyer from News 1130 said uh, her child is five and is expressing some interest. We're going to learn a little bit more about fencing throughout the morning, uh, Jody and Ria. Also, we're going to learn about the Grand Prix of Men's Epe, but Milan, let's get ready for our salute. Here we go. There you go. Yeah, well, you know, and what we've got to do is talk about scoring because if anyone is going to be going to the Vancouver Grand Prix of fencing, it starts with the scoring. So, Igor, talk us through that process right now. Well, there's a pressurized button in Epi. It's 750 grams of pressure. You gain a point. And every time when the button gets compressed, there's a sensor here and all the way back, and it goes to the light, to the and machine. So that's how we know that the scoring happens. So who are we talking to here? Who's going to be doing a little bit of fencing demonstration for us? Who's this? Well, we've got, this is one of our young stars, Dylan French. He's on the national team for both foil and epi, which is the first time in about 15, 20 years uh, a male athlete qualified to the World Championships in two weapons. So how exciting is it for you to have the Grand Prix here? Uh, it's a great experience to watch all these high-level fencers fence, and then some of them come to the club to train as well, so it's really good. Excellent. Now we've also got a female. Who's this? 
This is our young uh, Emma Von Dadelson. She's number one in Canada for women's epi. Wow. So, I mean, I keep thinking, I don't know that I see a lot of women fencers. Well, there are actually quite a few, but um, you just don't see them as often. But yeah, no, there, there are lots of women. It's super fun? Yeah, it's so much fun. Awesome. Okay, so let's make our way out here, Igor. Let's get them in their mode of, I guess, uh, fencing here, because we're going to see a bit of a scoring. Now, how do you actually score a point? So to score a point in epi, epi is the easiest one to understand the whole body counts and all you have to do is compress the, the point before your opponent compresses the all point. Alright, so let's get them started here and maybe Dave will bring you in here right now while they're going ahead and doing that. Tell us a bit about what we can expect for the Grand Prix. Well, you're going to see lots of action. You're going to have uh, the international fencers from around the world. We've got 23 countries and we've got over 85 athletes, so it's going to be great for people in the Pacific Northwest to see this event. And we're looking at some real stars, Igor, that are coming as well, right? Yes, we've got the Olympic uh, gold, silver and bronze medalist uh, Ruben Lomardo, who won the London 2012 Olympic Games is here and uh, y yesterday at the club we even had the bronze medalist from the Korean uh, national team Jung fencing at our fencing club. Fantastic. Well lots to see Jody and Rias. For more details, tickets are available. You can make your way to the website happening at the Richmond Oval and look at that. They've given me a nice t-shirt as well. Just released. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Behind the scenes, we have a guy that works in a truck that makes sure we get our signal all the way back to you at home and our truck operator is Christian Adler. Hey, good morning, good morning. Christian. Good morning, Tell us Don. a little bit about what people are seeing here? Uh, well, this is what uh, this is you that we're seeing right here. Uh, this is our little mass cam, which is way up top there. And then, of course, uh, what's on the air right now. Excellent. Is this a pretty uh, tough gig working with everyone out here? Uh, it's very tough working with you, yes. <laughs> no, you're, you, very, you're a diva. I, you know what? Hey, do you want to say hi to someone special yeah, out someone there? Yeah, I want to say hi to Allison this morning. How are you doing, lovey? There you go. Back to you, Jody. And we have a little behind the scenes for our viewers this morning. But first of all, Dave, the Grand Prix of fencing is happening this weekend. So let's talk a little bit about the, the scoring, the levels, I guess. Absolutely, sure. Well, the highest level you have is the Olympics. And then the next level is you're going to have the World Championships, and then you have the Grand Prix, and then below that you have the World Cup. So these tournaments, the Grand Prix, uh, feeds one and a half times the points towards the World Cup Championships, and this year it's in Budapest, Hungary. Excellent. Well, that sounds like it's going to be a fantastic event. And Igor, a lot of people have already been saying they're very interested. I mean, if we watch these students here at Dynamo, what, what does it take to be involved? What's, what's the club like here? Well, the club is, uh, we start from beginners, as young as three and a half years old. We're actually the only club in Canada to take kids is that young. That's actually our most popular program here. And uh, we have uh, from beginners to literally Olympians coming to the club. Excellent. So reasonably, how much rehearsal and how much practice has to happen to become a very skilled fencer? Well, that depends on the, your goal and your level. We have a kid who is on the full ride scholarship at Penn State right now. He, he was training 30 hours a week prior to getting the scholarship. And then if you want to just take it up and learn the sport, even an hour a week is fine. That's fantastic. And of course, with the Grand Prix just coming up, here we'll get you guys to face this way here. With the Grand Prix just coming up, I mean, you're getting some extremely elite athletes that are coming by into, into Richmond this weekend, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, again, we're going to have um, the Olympic athletes, the, the gold, silver, and bronze medalists, and we'll have World Cup champions that are going to be here as well. It's going fantastic. to be a fantastic event. By the way, for more details, you can go to the website. It's happening at the Richmond Oval. Coach, shall we have everybody finish up here? Salute. And how about we salute the camera? Yes. Excellent. Very much a, a gentle person sport, Jody and Riaz. How about those faces of our future?